All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DIY. Would you go and do a thing like that? Let's take a look at the past month of not so good arts and crafts project ideas. We'll start off with my computer charger is semi broken and only works when you push it in and hold it. Yet again, instead of buying a new cord, I found a way around it. This is the story of my life, except I've never actually gone to this length. Usually I just give up, but good idea. And it always happens with those USB cables. I swear, for some reason, just after a while, the port gets too jiggly and it just doesn't charge the device anymore. And it always happens with device after device. And I swear, I'm not messing things up by jamming the cable in and bending it, swinging the thing around by the charging cable. It just, for some reason, over time with those USB cables, it just never wants to work. I don't know the exact name of the USB cable. It's the one that you like charge most. I don't know if current Android phones, but like a couple of years ago, Android phones at the very least. Uh, and you still use it to charge like PlayStation controllers and whatnot. It's such a bad port. Never done that though. But I would have to actually bend it off of like the edge of a desk so that it would register properly. So I had my own workaround mechanisms. This cool front door idea posted on Mildly Interesting. That just seems like a, a trap, honestly. Someone's gonna be like leaving the house, not paying attention to what they're doing. It's like a guest. All right, I'll see you guys later. Oh God! And then they either like twist their ankle and break their leg by getting their foot jammed in between the rocks or at the very least they're soaking wet now and possibly they've killed a fish. Is that a real fish? I hope that's a real fish swimming around in the pond because if it's not, then it's just like, why do you have a fake plastic fish chilling next to your step? Also, is it recycling the water or is it just stagnant water that doesn't filter and cycle and it's just gonna get really, really dirty over time? I don't know about that one. I will admit, I have seen some really, really cool, fancy looking uh, front door water features that go between sort of stepping stones in really high-end homes. But the ratio of water to stepping area favors the stepping area a lot more in those. Mom wants something with room for the kids. Dad still got game. <laughs> On this episode of Shitty Car Mods, the donk meets the minivan. Have we ever seen a donk minivan on shitty car mods before? I don't know. I can't recall off the top of my head. But there we have it if we've never seen it before. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I thought the license plate said fat. Like P-H-A-T. It says pink panky? P is that what it says? Is packy panky? I thought it said fat. And I was going to be like, that is just the cherry on top. Forget putting coffee on the coffee table. Oak and tin sheeting coffee table. Interesting. Why, though? Were you just like, ah, eh, you know, glass is too standard. I see people with glass top coffee tables all over the place. I need to do something original. I'm gonna cut the roof off of this shed, take the glass off of my coffee table, switch places. I'll put a skylight in my shed and make my coffee table unique. It's gonna be great, win-win situation. Also, it's in Paso Robles, which is kind of nearish to Santa Barbara. It's like an hour and a half, two hours north or so, but I know where Paso Robles is. Could head up there and snag it for myself if I wanted to. Weight Watchers Soda Crocheted Hat. I'm just wondering why of all the things you could have sewn in like that. I guess you were looking for something pink. The the design on this looks like it's from the 80s or something, or early 90s, right? And so this is not something you probably just had laying around your house. Like you sought it out specifically for this project. And I, I wanna know why. Like I get it, maybe if it was something you were like, I wanna do some kind of Andy Warhol thing and sew this into my, sew some product into my hat. I don't have any any specific ideas. Let me just get something pink around my house. No, you sought this out. Why? What is it about Weight Watchers strawberry soda? 
I don't know, maybe it's actually really inspiring. Maybe Weight Watcher Strawberry Soda like got this person through their weight loss journey and they went through some amazing transformation. And so they're memorializing it into this hat here. And it's actually like really inspiring. I don't want to rain on anyone's parade here. Maybe that's the case. I want to look on the bright side. Carol Sue, you will not believe what I found on Pinterest today. DIY rustic palette pumpkins? As in you just glued a bunch of plywood together and put a stick on top? Really, uh, really elegant uh, design. You just know there's some like hipstery coffee shop out there that probably set these up as an alternative to actual pumpkins for Halloween decoration. It's like, well, these fit with our decor a lot better and they're actually much more environmental. I don't know why they'd be more environmental. You have to chop down trees for them, but some, some, I don't know. Maybe they're scrap wood. And instead of having to deal with the harvestation of pumpkins, they grabbed things that would already be trash and created a beautiful thing from them. I hope not. T-Rex heels. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. If you saw someone wearing those, like how big of a conversation piece would it be? Okay, you know, it's not that necessarily an attractive woman would have difficulty having dudes approach them in the first place, but if you want to even take it up a notch further and have an interesting piece of conversation on which to start, then this would take you there. I am not even hating. It's novelty. It's, it's stupid. It's whatever other adjectives uh, you can use to describe it, but you got to admit it would start a conversation. And for that reason, I can't fault it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Lay a mirror down, take a hammer to it, pour polyurethane over it. Is that like a permanent floor coating? What we call this the bad luck. Would you like to permanently curse your house? Are you superstitious? Great. Well, if you hate life and want to make everything misery with lots and lots of many years of seven years of bad luck, then this is for you. We've shattered plenty of mirrors so that you don't have to, and you'll always receive bad luck walking around your house. This thing will even eventually have the polyurethane coating wear down so you can actually be stepping on glass and cut your feet as you're walking around your house. That's how much bad luck you'll get from it. It's bad. It's not, that's not good. That's really bad. I have no words. It's a fidget spinner to start with, but let's see where it goes. What are you doing? Okay, so it's hot glue. It's not glow sticks, right? Why are you putting hot glue on a fidget spinner? And also this has 3.2 million views. You're hot gluing hot glue. Why are you hot gluing hot glue onto a fidget spinner? And why does it have 3.3 million views? What am I doing wrong with my life, honestly? Where did I go wrong? That I didn't think of hot gluing hot glue. And why is that one horizontal? And what is this gonna do that's so cool? I'm gonna wanna die at the end of this. Really? 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 Of all the things... No. Of all the things that you could have used to, like, prop the phone up and adhesives, you used hot glue to do... You hot glued hot glue? I can't! There's so many other options. And nor did you need to do that in the first place. No one is like, oh, you know what's the problem with my iPhone case holder thing, it doesn't pivot freely on a wheel. No. No one said that. It's not hard to move your phone, okay? This is not something where it's so heavy you need to have it on a base to pick. I'm mad. Nobody liked those palette pumpkins, but I actually think mine look good. Sure they do. Definitely look great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you added a little bit of string for decoration. It's a good touch. 
You painted them orange, which would make sense because pumpkins are usually orange. Not always orange, but usually orange when you think of Halloween. Sure thing. Yep. Eggshells that have been spray painted gold and hot glued onto a canvas. Use eggshells to get this look. You know, I'm not gonna lie, from far away, it's actually kind of a cool look. I enjoy minimalist modern art looking stuff. And so, yeah, but the thing is when you get up close, it's it's not, it's a little weird at that point. And you're like, why do you have a bunch of eggs? And then if you accidentally bump into it, it just shatters your, your piece of art all over the place and makes a mess. Like I'm not so into that part, but if that were paint and it kind of looked like that, I'd actually be down. No handle, no problem. Uh, I mean, wait. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that truck is on another truck already. So I wonder if it's like being transported somewhere to be demolished and you guys just rigged this up so you could get into it. This just doesn't really look like something that's being used. So it's like, you know, why would you invest a great deal of time to fix the door handle if the thing is just going into the trash heap anyway? It's like, yeah, if you need to get into it, just attach something easy. I thought dude was going to pull out a Slim Jim and actually unlock like a car that the dude uses to drive all the time, but no, I mean, easiest mechanism to open the door. Turkstrosity for dinner. Why did this happen for the love of God? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like Cthulhu crab. <laughs> oh my God. I want to see someone serve this at a Thanksgiving dinner when no one has prior warning and have like a hidden camera out just to see what people's responses are. You just like carry it hidden and you just dunk it over someone's head. Not like literally on it, but right in front of them and see what the reaction is to it. I love it. I think it's very original. Turning a spoon into a fork. This just looks like the epitome of the college stereotype eating cup of noodles and you don't even have a fork for it. <laughs> uh, damn, I spent all my last money on the cup of noodles and all I have is this leftover plastic spoon that I have to keep even though it's not metal because I can't afford to get any other plastic disposable utensils. So you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. What could go wrong? My boy put hand sanitizer on his desk and tried to cook spam in his dorm. I'm actually more impressed that that works. Can you really light hand sanitizer on fire? And it'll like burn consistently as if it were a stove? I kind of want to try that now, honestly, in a more controlled environment than a wooden desk. And you're cooking spam. Of all the things, I guess, you know what? May as well be spam because that's certainly not a gourmet setup. Almost as good as that DIY underwear bra. Okay. Are, are you using pants as a backpack? That's so weird. I'm trying to think of what conceivable application there would be for this. If you're at home, and you have access to pants, you probably also have access to a backpack. And if you're out and about and you're like, damn, I could use a backpack right now, are you gonna just take off your pants? I too carry around string in my pocket just in case I ever need to turn my pants into a backpack. It's common knowledge, really. My friend's phone's touchscreen stopped working, so he's using a mouse. Also, it, it said that this is a shit post, so it, it might be a joke. Um, but the screen does look kind of cracked. I'm not gonna lie. Are there Android phones that do have cursors? I might have just been totally trolled, but yeah, whatever. Don't don't mind me. This this one we had to uh, cut out the second to top because it has baby butt. And I don't know if YouTube is appreciative of baby butt. So go on to number one, super fun party life hack. DIY handy party trick. 
Okay. So. I think I've seen this, and I can't remember if I saw it on my own or if we saw it in the last DIY video, but I'm pretty sure that we didn't see it in the last DIY video, DIY video but I did see it on my own. And... Yeah. I've actually... I've never been to a party before where it that I've never been to a party before where cigarettes are just kind of like out for the taking. Is that a thing? The Coke is in Cyrillic, so maybe it's like a thing in Russia where you just have cigarettes kind of laying out at a party? I don't know, I've never seen that! That's just not a thing that's ever crossed my mind. Like, man, this party is weird. I can't believe that there are no cigarettes that are just out for people to take. Nor have I ever thought that if someone was looking for a cigarette to take, that then the problem is, can they- Oh, there's nowhere to light it. Forgot my lighter. Forgot my cigarettes all at the same time for this specific party. At least it gave us the context of where this was made. That's all. All right, uh, that was interesting. Okay, that was 18 days ago. I was, def I definitely saw it on my own, but it wasn't in one of these videos. So anyway, huh. Alrighty then, I hope you've enjoyed this whole list of kind of questionable things. Like the last one, I do just, okay, anyway. Uh, make sure to like if you'd like, check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Reddit videos, subscribe now already. And if you want to uh, listen to the music playing in the background right now, it's linked in the outro over on the Merit Music channel which you should check out if you haven't done so, because there's good tunes. All right, I'll see you next time.